Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. So I posted a picture of this makeup look on my Instagram asking when you guys would like to see this and so many of you guys were saying post it like as soon as possible so here I am today showing you guys exactly how to do this really kind of subtle neutral pinky yet very glamorous party makeup look which is perfect for New Year's Eve or any kind of parties you may have going on this time of year so if you'd like to see how to get this makeup look then please keep watching. So I'm starting off with this in transit camera close up by This Works. It's kind of like a moisturizer and primer in one. It was the first time that I used it and so far I am quite liking it. Then moving on to lips, I primed them with my Best Damn Beauty lip mask. And because we were gonna go in with a liquid lipstick, this is a perfect base for it. And then moving straight into eyes, I am using this color tattoo by Maybelline in the shade Creme de Nude. And I'm applying this all over my eyelids. You guys know the drill. This is just gonna help the eyeshadow last a lot longer and the colors will be much more vibrant as well. For eyeshadows, I'm gonna be using this The Blushed Nudes palette by Maybelline. And I'm taking this shade here first and using that as an eyebrow highlight. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. Highlight. It's one of those highlights that literally can be worn with any kind of makeup look. So I'm applying that on to my brow bones and making sure both colours are even. Then I realised I forgot to set my eyelids, so I'm just taking my Laura Mercier powder and just dusting that on to the crease and the lid of my eyes. And because you guys know I like moving from my eyeshadow up to down, I'm taking this shade here and putting that into the crease of my eye as a transition shade. And this is a gorgeous kind of pinky toned brown and it works really beautifully as an eyeshadow transition shade and I'm really working this into my crease and making sure that I'm happy with the color of it and that both of the eyes are even. Then I took this shade here which matched my play suit which I got from New Look perfectly and I'm putting this on to my eyelids. It was actually this play suit which kind of inspired me to do this look um, and I'm so glad I did it because I loved the way that it turned out. So I'm just packing this on to my eyelids until I'm happy with the color payout and then I did go in with a fluffy brush to just um, blend out the edges so they're not harsh or anything like that. Now to add some dimension I'm taking this deeper shimmery brown shade almost and I'm applying this on to the outer third of my eyes and this is just going to make the eye look really 3D and not really flat. And it's really just going to help tie in the whole look together. So I'm kind of slightly winging it out on this eye because I wasn't too sure whether I did want to wing it out. And then I was like, yep, I definitely want to wing it out. Um, so here I'm just slightly winging the shade out. And just to kind of intensify that a little bit more, I did take the edge of my eyeshadow primer and just kind of help that wing almost to be a little bit sharper than it is currently. So once I was done with that I actually went over the top with this Stella glitter which is by Sigma and it's such a gorgeous kind of rose pink shade and I'm just applying this on to the area where you can kind of still see that pinky color from the Maybelline palette just to obviously add a little hint of glitter because this kind of party season is all about the glitter and the glam. So I'm applying that on top and then I decided to add a white winged eyeliner and I wanted to choose something slightly different because I wanted this look to be glamorous but soft at the same time and not too harsh. So I actually took my white face paint that I had because I don't actually have a white gel eyeliner or liquid eyeliner. So here I'm just creating a wing and I'm not gonna lie you guys, the more I did this, the more I regretted that I used a white eyeliner. I was like, Oh my god, this looks really weird. It's going all over my eyelashes. But then I was like, no, Kosh, just stick it out and just kind of see what it looks like at the end. Um, and I'm so glad that I did because I actually feel like this is probably one of the most one of my personal most favorite looks that I've created. Um, so I'm just kind of doing the same thing on the other eye until I was happy with the way both of my winged eyeliners were looking. Then I went in with some more glitter. So here I'm taking, I believe this is called Distortion by Urban Decay. It's a really gorgeous kind of luminescent multi-tonal kind of glitter um, and because it wasn't showing up too much I was like right I'm just gonna go in and lay loads of glittery eyeliners on top so I wanted to make sure that they weren't too colorful or like off color because it was a white eyeliner that we're doing this on top of so I actually took this silver eyeliner from the body shop and I put that over the top and I feel like this was actually one of the most um, pigmented glitter eyeliners that I used in this look um, but then I did want to go in with another shade just so that there's loads 
loads of like random glittery colors on that white so i took midnight cowboy i believe this is the gold urban decay glitter eyeliner and i put that over the top as well and you want to be really careful where you're placing the glitter. You want to make sure that it's directly on top of where you've got your eyeliner because of the wetness of it. You don't want to move around any of the eyeliner work that you've done already. And then taking Perversion by Urban Decay, I'm just aligning my upper waterline. And once I did do this, I did go ahead and kind of try and clean up any of the white face paint that I had on my eyelashes just with my fingers before going in with some mascara to give my lashes a nice thick coat. So the mascara that I'm using is this new L'Oreal False Lash Sculpt Mascara and the wand of this is really cool because you only have the wand bristles on one side and I rarely actually use my mascara wand like all the way round if that makes sense. So you definitely get a lot less wastage in this mascara but what I love about this is that it really kind of adds so much volume at your roots of your lashes and it really did help when using this white eyeliner because it got all of my lashes it, I mean it coated like every single one of them so this is the mascara of choice and um, but here I'm adding about two coats of this on to my lashes and I will kind of slow down the speed right about now just so that you guys can see the kind of thickness that it gives the roots of the lashes which I absolutely love Next up, I'm just cleaning up anywhere that I had any fallout of glitter or eyeshadow or anything like that. And then I went in with my NARS, really long named foundation, weightless day, all day, luminous, something, something foundation. <laughs> and I'm just putting this all over my face. Now, I'm really sorry about the lighting again in this video. I thought it was nice and gloomy, which meant that the lighting was going to stay the same. But it kept going light and dark and light and dark, which is why, again, my skin looks really off balance and off color. But... I'm telling you guys, it's all fine, don't worry, everything looked okay in the end. <laughs> and then I filled in my brows and I've actually been using this Gimme Brow in the blonde shade just to set my brows recently, just because it lightens them ever so slightly and it makes them look really soft and natural. And if you didn't see so already, I kind of blended all my foundation up with my beauty blender. Then taking my Naked Skin Concealer, I was about to call this foundation for a second then, I'm putting this onto the usual places that I like to conceal and highlight. So underneath my eyes, my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, around my cupid's bow, my chin, and just around my mouth in general as well. And again, I'm just blending all of those lines out with my damp beauty blender as well. This thing, seriously guys, is just life-changing when it comes to doing your foundation routine. Um, it really does make everything look super, super flawless, um, and it picks up any kind of excess makeup that you have on your skin, because you don't want it to look any cakey or anything like that. So once that was all blended out, I went and set all of those areas with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm just going Going ahead and setting it with my Zoeva Luxe Face Focus Brush before going in with a contouring. For this look, I decided to only go in with a powder contour, but feel free to do a cream contour if you love cream contours. Um, so here I'm taking the Kevin Aquan Sculpt Powder, and I'm just going ahead and sculpting up my cheeks. And the brush that I'm using for this is the Zoeva Sculpt Brush, and I believe this is in the bamboo kind of collection that they bought out. So I also contoured my forehead as well a little bit, my jawline, my nose as well and I've been really loving doing a nose contour with this brush because I feel like it just gets it looking really really nice um, and then I do blend that out a little bit with a beauty blender as well and I slightly contoured my lips too. Once that was done, it was time to bronze up and warm up my face slightly, so I'm using the Hoola by Benefit. This one does have my name on it. Um, they actually kindly sent this to me like quite a while ago, but I believe you can still get them personalized on their website as well. It makes a really good gift as well, which is kind of cool. So I'm just um, warming up my face, and then I went in with some blush. So I'm using this shade here, which is from the... Hourglass Ambient Palette and I didn't realize just how pigmented these are. They are so gorgeous. I did feel like it was looking a little bit too harsh so I went and softened up the blush with a clean fluffy kind of face brush. For highlight for my cheeks I used the MUA kind of rosy pink highlight and the Anastasia Illuminator in I believe Starlight. 
Um, and I'm just putting this on to the tops of my cheeks and this just, oh, it is such a beautiful combination. It gives the slightest hint of pink, which matched the rest of the makeup and it just gives you a really, really, really nice healthy glow. And I also put a little bit of this on to my nose and my cupid's bow as well. Then it was time to kind of finish off the rest of the eyes. So I'm taking this dark shade again and I'm running that along my lower lash line just to kind of even out and balance out the top and bottom parts of my eyes. So I'm first applying this underneath both of my kind of lash line area and then I do go ahead and kind of blend those out and diffuse the lines out with a fluffy brush. This brush in particular is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush which come in their palettes. Then I'm taking that same Anastasia highlight that we used on the cheekbones and I'm applying this to the inner corners of my eyes and I'm really packing this color on because I wanted this area to really pop. Next up it's time for one of my favorite things to do and that's add mascara on to my lower lashes. So I'm using the same L'Oreal False Lash Sculpt Mascara on my lower lashes and seriously you guys like I feel like this mascara does amazing amazing things to my lower lashes. You guys will be able to see just how dramatic they look it almost looks like I have put on bottom false lashes, but I haven't. It's seriously just this mascara. It's so good. Um, and once I was happy with the way that was looking, I did go ahead and deepen up my eyes a little bit with that same dark metallic-y brown shade. So I'm just adding that on to my outer kind of third of my eyes. And I love doing this at towards the end of the makeup because I really know where I want to place it and whether or not it's looking even. Then I went and added my Samantha Lashes by Huda Beauty and again I went in with that same dark metallic-y brown shade just to go ahead and kind of make things a little bit more intense because it, things always look different when you put lashes on. Um, so here I'm just doing exactly that. And the last step was to put my lips on. So here I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Sepia. And this is a gorgeous, cool toned, brown stony shade which I felt complemented this look really 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 well. So here I'm just putting a good layer of this onto my lips and that is the final makeup look completed. You can of course set this with a setting spray if you wanted to at the end so your makeup lasts all night long but this is the final makeup look. I really 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 hope you guys enjoyed this kind of fun different yet still glamorous makeup look which is perfect for the party season especially new year's eve which is coming up and yeah i really hope you liked the white eyeliner because i was so 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 hesitant to like stop filming but i'm so glad i did because i absolutely love this look I hope you guys are having a lovely holiday period. I wish you all nothing but the best. Please stay safe and please have lots of fun and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!